Hi guys, this is James from Devil's Paintbrush and before you there is a box. Now in the box is the reinforcements for my 9th SS uh, Panzer Division a bolt action army. Um, I won't get to build or paint these guys anytime soon thanks to commission work and other projects coming out like bolt action version 2, uh, Mantic's Warpath is coming up, loads of stuff like that. So um, yeah, I just want to show these guys off and show you uh, a little bit of an unboxing of, of the stuff in my own inimitable style. So here we go. Open up, and there you go. That's what's in there. We have the Puma armored car. We have some additional troops, uh, specifically chosen for specific tasks. We have an MG42. We have specialists, flamethrowers, snipers. We have an 81mm mortar and SS Sturm Battalion Charlemagne. Right, just put this box to one side. Now, I know that the SS Sturm Battalion Charlemagne are French SS and they fought in the Eastern Front and the Defense of Berlin, but they're just so nice models. Um, and because the 9th SS also fought in the Eastern Front, any miniatures in there that have Russian equipment, they would have Russian equipment because they would have picked it up on the Eastern Front before they were moved to Normandy in mid-June 1944. Anyway, let's put these to one side. We'll do it one at a time. And we'll start with the Puma. As you can see, it's still got a shrink wrap on. On the back, you've got a couple of painted examples. You've got a factory and you've got... Um, well, the standard colour scheme for East and West Europe, standard Warlord games, a decal sheet for its armour, so oh, a shot, slice down there, off the box is cellophane, and we'll crack this bar, no, bad boy open. So, ah, sealed pack, just like Rubicon, they're learning. So. There's your decal sheet, it's standard, um, hasn't got the 9th SS on there, but it doesn't matter because I have that on another sheet. We have the instructions, we have a Warlord Italery information sheet, I'll show that in the box, I don't need that at the moment. So let's pop this open. Should have sharpened. Right, so there you go. Put that on the side. And this is obviously the hull section, so you've got your top hull, you've got your lower hull, you've got um, storage bins there, front mud guard, your 50mm main gun, entrenching tools, spiky bits. Um, these, I believe, are part of the suspension, and we'll talk about the suspension later. And you've got your gun mantlet there, various other bits and bobs. And on this side, you've got your wheels, which are all well and good. You've got your spare wheel, you've got your front uh, turret there, your main turret there, more stowage, more suspension. These are exhausts down here. And then we've got the nice little tank commander there. So there you go. Now if you look at the instructions, you'll see that there and there is how to build the suspension. And you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten parts to each side. So there's twenty parts for suspension on a wargaming model. It's a bit much. Apparently there are ways you can cut corners, but I'm also a model maker, so I'm going to do it the proper way. There you go. Um, this is going to be a lovely little kit when it's all, um, all put together. Now we'll do the special issue stuff. Mm. 
lovely bases and we've got the lovely pill base so they're all the new lovely plastic bases and we have we have the sniper and apparently the end of his barrel is all bent so we'll just bend that back so there's a sniper which will go on the pill base um, where is he that's the spotter for the sniper again his rifle's a bit bent we have pounds of Shrek. Let's see if we can focus in on this guy. Focus. There we go. And what you can see is actually got camo scrim wrapped around the Panzer Shrek, which is a really nice touch. We have well maybe he's the spotter. Oh he could be the spotter. He's got binoculars. I am forgiven. Right. He is an ammo carrier of some sort. We have the flamethrower here. Now the flamethrower and probably the ammo carrier are going to be the ones that end up in the Pioneer Platoon. Platoon. I'm thinking of Flames of War. Pioneer Squad, which go in the Pioneer Hanamag. And then we've got the nice SS heads. So we can focus on these. Some more there. Nicely sculpted standard Warlord Games Fair. Right, just bear with me while I pop all this back and I'll go to the next one. Uh, here we go, epic fail. Right, that's that one done. Now, the support weapons. We have an MG42 and we have the mortar. Now the mortar is part of the SS box. I just didn't get around to making it. As you see they both come with a nice large basis. We have in the mortar we have a loader and some with an ammo box. And we have someone dropping a bomb down the pipe. We have the standard SS heads. And we have the actual mortar itself. Let's try and get it into frame. And then we have the MG42. Now this is actually the here MG42. Because I've got that... Um, from the 21st Panzer, but that's not going to happen until um, I get the uh, miniatures from, I think it's Mad Bob, he did a Kickstarter, so until I get the miniatures from that for their vehicles, I won't do it, but the equipment is pretty much the same on both here and SS, so the way I paint it doesn't really matter. There you go, there's the loader, and there's the rather annoying mount the MG42 itself and then some here heads here which I may not use as I was saying my camera cut out again which is really weird so there's the here heads and um, I use the spare SS heads I'm just going to pop these over there I'll put them in the boxes later then we've got the their SS that are going in the squad and the uh, pioneers. So we have the SS head sprue, which is really nice. We have this guy here running with um, Sturmgewehr 44, with his kit on his back. We have a standard guy with a K98, again, which is a bit bent, but he's got the Panzer Faust on the back. Focus. He's going to head to the Pioneers. We have this guy here. He is carrying a telemine and has an armful of Panzerfaust. Again, his K98 is a touch bent. Again, he's heading for the Pioneers. And then we have a rather dramatic pose. Another guy with his own Stumgewehr 44. 
44. So those guys are going to be folded into the standard units. And then we have the SS Storm Battalion Charlemagne, which were French um, volunteers in the SS. And they were some of the most devoted SS troops you could ever want. Um, and they were the last, they were the last defending Hitler's bunker. And only about 80 to 100 of them actually got away, made it back to um, the West and surrendered to the Americans, I believe. But could be mistaken. So, that's what they look like painted up. So that's standard pack out. Oh, it's all falling apart. There you go, we've got the nice plastic bases. Because when these first came out, they had um, MDF bases. So, I'll just pop this open. So, got pill base for the lying down gun. We've got what is it? heads. Oh, come on, there you come. This guy has got all focus. This guy's got an MP40. And there's lots of different. This guy has your Stim Gewehr 44. Another guy with an MP40, and he has a Panther glass as well. A bit bent. As you can see, there's a bit of flash on these, but they clean up really nicely, so there's no need to worry about that. Here is the loader for the MG42. He's got. Um, ammunition belts around his shoulders and again a Panzerfaust again another guy with a bent Sturmgewehr but he's laying down and these guys are actually wearing grey coats as well some of them which is really nice this I think is the MG42 guy no it's not it's just a normal rifle guy yay and this guy they with the iconic PPSH-40. Then there's the guy with the MG-42. There's a guy, again, he has a broken Stimulator 44, which I'm gonna have to sort out with some plastic parts. And then here's a Panzerfaust, about to fire, a bit bent as well. And then the last one, Another Stim Gewehr 44 advancing. So, there you go. That is the reinforcements for my 9th SS. So, I'll leave you with that. So, as usual, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. And please consider popping a like and all the other jazz. And as usual, I'll catch you next time.